This video is part of a series. Sure to check out the link in the uh, playlist or link in the description for the full playlist. And I recommend watching previous videos. And this one's building on a little bit. We're doing something similar to what we did last week. Last week we did very simple crop to split the screen. Uh, didn't have very much uh, options. Now today we're going to be looking. I'm going to split the screen three ways rather than just in half. And we're going to be using uh, alphas and composites so that we can get some feathering effects and have a little more adjustment to it. You can still do the crop effect basically the same way here that we did last week, but I want to show you this so you can see that feathering effect in case you need it, in which a lot of cases you actually do. I've already trimmed up my clips. Again, uh, camera on a tripod, you don't want to move it. Consisting lighting, make sure your actors know where they're standing and they don't cross over the lines where you're going to be cropping the scene. Um, so I'll just click somewhere in the middle here. I've already lined up my clips so you don't have to waste time doing that, but here's one shot of me. Um, here is, which click on Here's another shot of me, and here's another shot of me. And we just have them all layered over top, but now we want to be able to view them all at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add composites to each to the between the layers. So I'm going to click on the corner here. It adds a dissolve effect. I'm going to drag the dissolve effect all the way out. And then up here, I'm going to choose it and change it to a composite rather than a dissolve. You'll notice that my drop-down menus are black and hard to read. That's just a theme on my computer, and Caden Live's the only one that's showing it like that. And uh, I just haven't changed it. It probably won't look like that to you. It's, I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, add another uh, dissolve effect by clicking the corner there, making sure you have the dissolve effect selected, and then changing that to a composite. So what the comp composite does is basically allows you to resize layers and be able to see what's behind them. But we're not going to be using the composite settings here. We're going to be using alpha settings that the composite will use. So now I'm going to click my top video here. So top video selected and up here type in alpha. And there's a few options. We're going to look at two of them today just to see uh, you know the difference between the two. We're going to be using gradients and shapes. So first we're going to look over gradients. So I'm going to make add that to this video clip and right away you can see that we're kind of can see the two but there's a, a fade over both of them. So what I want to do is um, basically line it up so that the, the gradient's right between them and then adjust its position and its width. It's very feathered now, which isn't very good for what we're doing. Uh, but right now it's kind of uh, angled. So let's do the tilt. And the tilt's number you're gonna have to play around with, but I have found, uh, okay, so 500 I believe is just straight up and down. If I do 250, I'm sorry, that 500 is um, horizontal cut. And we want a vertical cut. So I'm going to go 250, but that's actually the reverse of what we want. If I go to one set, or it's, uh, I'm messing up today, 750 and hit enter, this is what we want for this particular cut. But depending on what which way the videos are layered, if I had one on top of the other, you might go the other way. But just so you know, if you want to cut it um, so that it's split vertically, you're going to probably set this to either 250 or 750, depending on the way your layers are layered, in what order they're layered. Right now, I'm going to take where it says transition width, which is your feathering. I'm going to put that all the way down to zero. And that's going to give us a straight line. It's going to make me easier to see where I am splitting the screen. Now I can adjust the position. And I can drag this bar like this. I can also use my mouse wheel on the position bar here to get it very exact and precise. So right there for this looks good, but you can still see the line because it's not feathered. So now I'm going to just start pushing the width up, the transition width, until I think it looks good to where I don't see it because it's feathered, but you don't want any feathering on either of your, your actor's shots. So that's the top two layers mix. Now select the second layer and add in that same alpha gradient. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to tilt it 750. I'm going to put transition width down to zero so I can see the line clearly. I'm going to adjust its position until it's between my two actors or actor, whatever it is. And then I'm going to adjust the width up just to feather it a little bit. And that is it. Now I have the three shots together. And again, more layers you have, more layering effects you have, the slower it's going to go. You may want to use proxy clips. I'm going to scrub through this though, just to see, make sure I don't have any of my actors, you know, crossing those lines and I might need to adjust them. Like if this guy was to stick out his hand, I think I just stuck out my hand like right there. If I stuck it out too far, it might get feathered. It might even be feathered, but I'm moving so fast it's blurred anyway, so you wouldn't really notice it. 
So that's one way of doing it, just using the gradient, which is like a, basically a straight line that you can angle different ways. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave my composites, but I'm going to remove those alpha effects. And now I'm going to go back to my top video here. I'm going to do alpha shape. And it's going to be similar, but instead of a straight line, we have different shapes. And you can see here we have rectangle, ellipse, and again, the theme on my computer is, just doesn't look right, but uh, rectangle, eclipse, uh, triangle, and diamond. We're just going to use a rectangle here. And I said eclipse, I meant ellipse, <laughs> uh, which is, you know, like a football. So now I have a rectangle. You can see that rectangle right there. So what I want to do is I want to adjust the position of this so it's over this actor here. And then I can take my y here and move that up till it meets the full screen height and then i can take the x width and make it out like that and again if i want to i can take the transition width and that gives us straight lines it's a little easier to see and i can line it up between the two actors and so now let's see move this oh wrong one i want to move the x there we go right there and again, if you can put the lines on something like a doorway line, it makes it less noticeable. But now that I have that there, I can feather it out a little bit till I don't notice it. And now I have those two actors. So basically the same thing as before, except for instead of a straight line cut in the screen, we're working with different shapes, in this case, a rectangle. And the main reason I'm showing you this is, um, one, I actually like it better. This, you know, the tilting on the uh, other one was kind of weird, where with this, if I, I don't need to tilt it, I can just adjust the uh, X and Y to where I need. And uh, so let's see, position this here on him, scale the Y up. Uh, I'm going to put my transition width down and I'm going to make the X scale up a little bit and then I'll feather it out. And we have the same, basically the same effect before, but again, using different shapes. This can be useful if uh, you don't want to split completely up and down uh, or horizontally or vertically. Maybe you just need to to do one little section of the screen, you can do it with a rectangle or an ellipse or what other shapes were there, uh, a triangle or diamond. I don't see though, using those too much uh, for this particular type of effect. Um, but there's it. that's it. Now I can again scrub through this. Looks good to me. I will uh, render that out and put it at the end of this video. Again, that's just one more way. And there's lots of ways to split the screen like this. Um, but I just thought I'd show you this. The other way, you know, using the crop, it's very simple. Draw a line and you're done, but you don't have that feathering effect, um, which can definitely smooth things out a little bit. So I'm going to render this out. I might even adjust my feathering right here a little bit um, because you can still see it. It's not very noticeable because, again, because of the doorway, but uh, I think that would be this top one here. Let's see. Yeah, feather it out a little bit more. And again, make sure my actors don't cross over. Doesn't look like they do. Oh, wait, let's see my hand in that shot. Right, where was that? Nope, I'm good. So I'm going to put this rendered at the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels. Uh, if you like this video, if you like my videos in general, think about becoming a supporter uh, over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Little as a dollar a month is very helpful. Link to that in the description. If you can't help that way, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. As always, I hope that you have a great day. Hi guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah.